Hey guys, today we are making mac and cheese. How much oil do you use in a month, bro? Pouring out as much as she did in the pot is insane, bro. When have you ever seen somebody ever use vegetable oil as a base to boil any type of pasta ever in your entire life? What is this forbidden technique that we're looking upon right now, dude? And the fact that she had the, 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 the pasta in the cupboard, like she, this is a frequent thing for her, and then pouring it directly in the cast iron? Like, I get it. Seasoning cast irons is super important. You got to ensure that it, it maintains over the years. But this is on some different level, bro. For me, personally, maybe I'm just weird here. Using, by the way, bows as the base for... Bows as a base for macaroni and cheese is actually insane. But using the bows... And then also, where's the water? Do you guys in the UK not have water? Why is it so often I see so many people in the UK doing these forbidden, like, Raza Ghoul techniques? Like, you had to learn this from, like, some, some hidden Tibetan monk somewhere in the mountains somewhere. Like, why do you guys eat so slop over there? Everybody I see in the UK, Becky Jones, Corey's World, Leah, I'm seeing all these people, and I'm looking upon them, and I'm seeing that Corey literally washes, washes minced meat. And then I see this. Is this really your representation over there in the UK? Why is this all like the most famous TikTokers in terms of food content are all like this? Why is it like that? Do you guys have some? You have you got you guys have something to say? Is this not something like you guys want to talk about? Why is this all over TikTok? Talk to me. Leave it down below. I need to know. That the oil's got to be dissipated by the end of the month. Like, not even by the end of the month. The end of the week at the, the rate that she's going with this. I don't even, I don't even know if the stove is on. Right on the raw table is beautiful. Of course, we're going to have the grated cheese directly. Well, at least she's using real cheese. I'll give her that. I mean, granted, there. Oh, she put some peas in there, too. I didn't even see that. She just must have. She must have just added that in right there. But, uh, you know, for using real cheese, I'll give her that. I mean, granted, it's, you know, in, in about a, I don't know, 40 ounces of oil. to empty out to empty out the oil in to empty out the oil i'm sorry it's just like i'm at a lot i can't even believe what i just saw bro to empty out the oil in the toilet is some is some diabolical work bro i mean i get it you're renting right you're renting who the fuck cares right it's not your house it's only you you're only paying two thousand dollars a month or however much you're paying a month to in order to, to be in this apartment uh can we real quick too if you're gonna show up the bathroom can we scrub this down a little bit what is this right here the dookie butter on a side dude come on man you you dumping it down a thing i get it bro I've only ever lived in apartments, dude. I grew up in a project. So I understand the way it is. But this is some crazy ass shit to record as well, bro. What's your landlord got to say about this shit when he see the video of you dumping down that hot sesame seed or whatever that was down the drain, dude? D does he not have a problem with that when you just dump that shit right down there, bro? Okay, okay. Candy's cooking. Mmm, chef's work right here, dude. Not only is it diabolical in sensation of like what you're putting in your mouth, but also what you're doing to your apartment. But you know what? I'm interested. I want to see how good this food really is. By the way, Retrix, you 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 told me about this person. You you should have some you should have some pride knowing that this person is uh gross, disgusting, absolutely abhorrent. This is the worst cooking I've ever seen in my entire life. Just simply scrolling through the TikTok for more than a minute, you're seeing some shit you never saw before in your entire life. Dude, just wow, dude. I think that actually is some bus butter. I actually do think that's some booty water. I really do think that's what that is. You couldn't wipe that shit down real quick. 
not even with a baby wipe, nothing, dude. You couldn't let the, you, we, we just have to see it. Not only do we gotta see the sloppy food that you're creating, but we gotta see the busty fucking butt butter too, huh? Hi guys, how many sugars do you have in your Pepsi Cola? How many you guys got? How many, when you have your Pepsi Colas, right? Which Pepsi, by the way, is like the sweetest of all the sodas. How many do you put in there? How many, like, you know, like, just to season it up a little bit, just to add that extra little bit of spice, uh, the diabetes, just to really expedite the the amount of leg that you're going to lose by the end of the month. Why do you even need your legs? Let's be honest here for a second. There, your only thing that you should be worried about in life is fulfilling your mouth desires. Why do you need your legs? Just ensure when, you, when you're eating, when you're drinking your sodas, make sure you're, you're filling them up with copious amounts of sugars. Have you ever heard of some shit like this before in my life? I never saw somebody put sugar. I used to do this when I was a kid. When I was irresponsible. I remember when I was a children, I would have basic bitch ass cornflakes, the store brand, obviously, and I'd pour them out into a bowl and I had sugar and I would just season them down. I would just season down all of the cornflakes and with sugar, tons and tons of sugar, like mountains of sugar. I'd take a bite and then I season it back down with the open spot that was not seasoned anymore. And I would do that on every single bite. What the fuck was wrong with me? Nobody was looking upon me with any type of remorse and telling me this is not the right way to do things. Nobody cared about me at that point. What was I doing, bro? And then I see, as an adult, I no longer do that, obviously. Uh, but I see a woman like this, a beautiful, delicate, uh, just a gazelle of a woman here. <sighs> doing the same thing that I did when I was like nine or, you know, seven. It's something different. It's something real different, bro. I have five. Five. But oh, that's a whole, that's a, that's a whole soda. That's a whole, that's a whole Pepsi. I thought it was a max. No, it's a, Pe it's a whole Pepsi. Didn't even tilt the glass, so come and join huh? join us if you want to. One, two, three. <laughs> Just the app four days ago. I mean, I, I I don't doubt that you I don't doubt that you're running out. I don't doubt. I mean, the way that you're using the sugar is actually diabolical. Putting that shit in the in the in the soda. I don't even know if you even have this the the taste anymore of the soda anymore. It's it's just sugar, right? Go. Uh, <gasps> uh oh. One, two, three, and then talk for a second and said five. Anything's better than five, I guess. Four is way better than five. But, uh, you know, simultaneously, what the fuck does it matter at this point? I mean, you might as well put the whole fucking bowl in that shit. Why is she so aggressive? Nah. She ain't gonna actually drink that shit, right? She ain't gonna actually put that shit in her mouth. You start your day with some energy. Oh, 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 damn. <sighs> there's just something about it. There's just something about somebody. There's just something about somebody gr drinking something super aggressively and then being out of breath right after it. It's, a, it's just something satisfying about it because it's like you just you worked up such a sweat, you worked up such an exhaustion drinking the soda that like you just have to. Oh, oh. Oh shit, damn, that shit's good. Like this is something about it that just really satisfies my brain. Really tingles my sensations. She really drank it though. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, huh? Kumbaya, true, kumbaya. Kumbaya. Need you to know one thing. Huh? What do you talk about? What 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 are, you, what are you saying right now, huh? You think I wanted to hear that? You think I wanted to hear that shit talking to me? It was bad enough that I was seeing your mouth talking to me, but now I gotta hear your butt cheeks talking too. Who 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 said that was okay though? Who said that this is something that you you thought? How did you think this was okay to make a video? of you swallowing down a five, my bad, sorry, <laughs> four, but we might as well call it five anyway, just in, you know, just for the celebration of this, sucking down five sugars worth of soda, which is already massively filled with, with sugar. Swallow that shit down, no problem, and then right after that shit, you bust it straight on camera like that? That shit sound kinda wet too. You live with anybody? Who, 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 you got somebody that's taking care of you? How did you get like this? <sighs>
And I just love that she looks off to the side as she does it. Well, I mean, I don't technically even know what she's looking at. She got that lazy eye. She could be looking at the soda. She could be looking at the fridge simultaneously. Who knows? I need you to know one thing. If anyone pisses you off today, you just turn away and walk away, all right? You guys, I mean, it's, that's good advice. I mean, you know, even though she did bust it on camera, even though she did drink that fucking soda, man, what is this? What is this glazed open eye shit she got here, bro? Are these glasses even helping you at all? What are they even here for? Yeah, true. Beautiful, absolutely fucking beautiful candy. I've, you know what, dude? My, my goddess, my goddess, right here, dude. Divinity, please. Oh, take me. You are so gorgeous in so many different ways. Please tell me about the forbidden residue upon your shirt. I am very interested. Tell me about yourself. How we wash up in the UK. Tell me about this real quick. So I heard a lot of things over there in the UK. I know you guys like Maccaese. And I, I know you guys like a Greg's. And I know that you guys like a burger. I know you guys like that shit. I know about it, dude. I know about all the, the UK lingo, getting takeaways and getting Indians and all this other stuff. I feel like right now, I'm an honorary UKian at this point. I wasn't aware that you guys did dishes in a particular way. I, I thought it was just like how everybody did dishes, you know? It's so a little bit of soap. A uh, sponge or a rag or whatever you're using and then you know you clean it up get it in there You are cleaning up your dishes and stuff like that. I thought it was just I thought it was a normal thing I didn't know that there was a, a specific way That people in the UK did dishes. Uh, let's go over it Let's see how you guys in the you this is how you people in the UK by the way This is this is what she says here. Okay people in the UK you guys in the UK you guys Okay, and we're not even that far off. Okay. I got some ancestors over there in the UK. Obviously, you know that uh, I didn't know I, that, there was such a, a major difference, but let's see how let's see how the, the, the dishes are done over there in the UK. I'm very interested. Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, like that, huh? Yo, where the strainer at? You don't got a strainer? There's no strainer. You just put that shit right on raw counter. All right, all right. Raw counter. You don't even be bothering to get the other side, right? I mean, why does that matter? You're only drinking out the inside, right? But the outside doesn't matter at all, right? Am I wrong? No, obviously. Did she even apply soap to that sponge at all? She sprayed it down with something. I'm not really sure what that was, but she sprayed it down with something, but it only looked like two or three squirts. Don't really look like there's any soap on that shit to begin with. But all right, yeah. This is how you guys do This is how you do it, right? This is how you do it in the UK? This is the, this is your your honorary member that we're supposed to look upon as like the 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 entire UK species, huh? This is what I'm looking at. I want everybody to notice. This is the this is what I use. When people go, "What do you think about people in the UK?" I'm thinking Becky Jones. I'm thinking Corey's world. And I'm thinking about those people that go, "Let me chat to you, bro. Let me chat to you. Come on, manzes. Let me say something to you, bro." I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking about Candy's cooking. I'm, I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about all these shits. How do you feel right now, huh? If you want to sit there and you want to say Donald Trump is like our representation, Candy's cooking. This is your representation. Feel it, bro. It's efficient. I'll give her that. It's at least efficient. You got the cheese grater. Okay, one side so far. Okay, two sides. Good enough. Good, good enough. Good enough. We don't need to do more than just two sides. We're good. Oh. 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 <gasps> that why is our water so brown? Why is it so brown? Dude, that look like the street water in India. Why has it got residue on the side here? What is this bus butter? Is this bud butter from earlier? Why is the water so brown, bro? Why do you have a random big ass Tupperware in your fucking in your sink? What are you guys doing in the UK? Oh, good lord. Like that? Like that shit was marinating in the water. I don't know. God knows how long that shit's been in the water there. That shit could be there for years. And she just real quick lets the sponge touch it just a little bit, dude. Oh, come on, that sponge barely even touched it. That sponge is literally marinating in the same water. You might as well be spitting on that shit. It'd be better off. Oh, come on, dude. 
What happened? What is this? This is what it's like in the UK, huh? This is what it is? A lot of people tell me, they go, David, listen, you got to come over. You got to try our delicacies. You got to try our fish and chips and our baked potatoes and our Greg's and all this other stuff. And I always go, it seems great to go over there and talk to people and, you know, get stabbed, I suppose, and hear somebody say, let me talk to you, mans. You know, that'd be great. But uh, I don't know, like I'm starting to question things now a little bit after uh, after what I've just seen here. Uh, is this this is normal? This is how you do it. This is how you wash dishes in the UK. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I guess maybe I'll wash my own dishes when I go over there. Art. Adding you to my eggs and onions. Oh, oh. Uh, to Good lord, that cast iron's been that cast iron's been under a lot of pressure, man. Like probably decades worth of cooking in a few months. What? How much oil do you need in a pot, though? Good. Damn. Add your fish into the pan, guys. Damn, just grabbing the inside like that too. Uh, got to it. Well, add your fish. I just the... I can't do it, bro. Like there's a whole ass tab that you're supposed to grab onto and pull back. Instead, she want to grab on the middle and the, and the inside where the, where the fish is, dude. The pan, guys. Give it a good stir and then we'd add the acne. Oh, 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 there's so much of the morsel, so much of the fish just slipping off into the crevice here. You know there's probably people growing in that, right? After many months, many years, look how seasoned up the stove is. The stove. We're seasoning the stove right now. Look at, look at this. How much, how much you think, how much food do you think is in between this right now? You know she ain't cleaning that shit. <laughs> you know she ain't, dude. Oh my god. Oh, oh! Somebody called a bomb squad, bro? Dude, look at the cat food looks actually better than this. The cat food looks better than this slop ass shit right here. Oh! Actually trying to leave me with nothing. <laughs> Damn, man. There's just something majestic about this woman. Like, there's just something about it. I just love that noise, too. The sound that that made, the noise, the, the that beautiful, like, blah, 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 blah. just got to hear it out. Look at the residue, too, just chilling right here. The oven mitts that have been coated in probably years worth of whatever the fucking slop she's been cooking on this. Actually the aroma in this house got to be fermented. It's got to be, it's got to be a beautiful fermented, like, I don't know, like, a dead like Apache Indian, you know, like a, a Native American that's just been under the house for like like hundreds of years. Oh, oh, R.I.P. That plumber, dude. Damn, man, that shit's gonna be crazy as fuck when they pop open the pipes because that shit ain't working no more, and they find a year's worth of grease buildup that's just been sitting in those pipes. Oh, it's so. Oh. Oh, oh, look at it sliding down. I don't even know what this is. Ooh, it's just slipping and sliding down off the side. Oh, oh. oh God's sake. Chop in a minute. What is that on your shirt? You got tinfoil on? You got tinfoil on like you're Joaquin Phoenix and Mel Gibson from, the, from Signs? It's a bit hot. Those tongs, too. I saw how you cleaned those tongs up, man. I don't trust it. What have you got for dinner? I've got Italian acne. Oh, it's really hot, though. Italian acne? Mm. Damn, she eating it. That's actually really nice, guys. She, she eating it, though. Damn, that shirt is GG, bro. That shit's, been, that shit's RIP right now, man. And it's a name brand shirt. It's an Adidas. Whoo, fuck, bro. I love trying that food. Hey guys, today we are making a Jamaican jollof rice and peas. So we got our oil. We got our rice. Let that cook for a bit. We add our kidney beans. Oh. Kidney beans. 
getting real cultural with this one, man. You know, I love it. I love it when we start going out of the ordinary and start eating things that are not necessarily a part of our culture, but maybe a part of other cultures. It shows our appreciation. But I think in this scenario, maybe not so much. I think maybe perhaps we let the Jamaicans have their own food in this scenario. Um, not to say that, you know, white people can't cook Jamaican food. It's fine. Maybe not this white person. Not because she's white. Not because she's white. No, 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 no. Because she's from the UK. That's why. That's why. Give it a good stir. I just love when it when the spatula came out, it like flicked something off of it. Oh, like there was already some residue on it. Okay. It's not too bad so far. I mean, it's an obvious little greasy, and the, the stove seems to be pretty seasoned up, given given the amount of like rice on the put on the stove itself. It's without stir. So far, so not bad. Okay, just just leave it right there on the counter, right? Just where you dry the dishes. Exactly right there, man. Yep, beautiful so far. The racks in the background, beautiful aesthetic, love it. Oddly and clean. Add your chickpeas. And then add some chickpeas to it. Yep, okay. Now we've got to drain it off. Oof, damn, you might as well just dump it in there at that point. Oh, really? Yeah? We're just gonna go for the tongs? We're just gonna go for the tongs that are just in the dishes? The dirty ass tongs that, was, that, were, that, were, that were in the dishes? Uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised at all, to be honest, given the fact that we just saw what we just saw from this individual. It's not surprising. And then that's some oh, I, oh, I think she meant to cut that out. Yeah, I think she meant to cut that out, but she never cut that out because she stopped recording right there when she could have just kept recording. Yeah, I think I think that was probably her like meant. Okay, whatever, bro. I mean, it adds to the authenticity of the video, to be honest. There, totally. You know what, man? Go ahead, go off, queen. Go ahead. Oh, that's interesting. That's not exactly what I thought she was gonna do with them. The tongs to grab the chickpeas out of the can. Okay, I mean, it's not. It's it gets it's, it's you know you're doing it's doing its job. I mean, there are probably better utensils to use, but you know, yeah. Wow, that's just gonna be wet. What is this? Look at that stove, man. Like all this at stuff. Your, at your, at your, some jello. Okay. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. That's oh. oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. What does it have? The fucking can of jello off? Whatever that is. God damn, that's a lot, bro. Yeah. Good lord, Candy. What you doing out here? Mix it together. Oh, 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 the stove. Oh, no. Wow, can't wait to try this. It's just like 80% oil and like 90% seasoning. I just love the random can of soda over there. It's good two Can cans of soda. Some salt. Damn, salt all over. Damn. God, damn, bro. What the fuck? You gonna season a stove too? Give it a good old stir. And then wait for the shop. The zinger. That's just gonna be. Oh. If anyone else wants to try, um, look at it, guys. My jalof. <gasps> Then follow me on Instagram. Any country, come over and try. I, th I think I'm good. I think I'm all right. I think I'm I'm pretty good with not trying that shit. You're good. You can totally munch on that shit, whatever the fuck that shit is. Go ahead. Put that shit in your mouth. But to sit there and try to be like, yeah, you can come over and try that. I, I was thinking about it. I, I was considering it for a little bit, uh, for like two seconds. I was thinking about it. Like, could I go over? Nah. No, nah, I'm pretty all right with not eating it, to be honest. Um, But, you know, I'm happy that you're, you're eating it. You seem well fed. For free. For free. I don't charge. Thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're such a kind philanthropist. I mean, this is truly beautiful. I don't know what person could eat this, literally. I don't know who can eat this, but I'm happy that you have the ability to. Beautiful. Is that why you have the cross tattooed on your hands? Because the Lord needs to help you put this food in your mouth? Mm. I just love the Winnie the Pooh bowl as well. Like, it's, it's just something special about it. I just literally love it. That's really nice. I like trying to make a new food. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know, guys. Oh, it's hot. Damn, she's munching it, though. 
indigestion. I love it. <laughs> Puts it down and then immediately picks it back up, almost as if her mouth was craving that shit too much. Need to wait for it to cool down a bit. But you're mm. munching that shit. Damn, calm down. That, that shit ain't going nowhere. Me. Good lord, Candy. That's really nice spicy. It's, uh, it don't look that good. Candy, it don't look that good in my opinion. It's a lot of oil. Yum. Hey guys, I have got a tip for you if you've got nits. I haven't got nits right now. Right now? What are you planning on getting them? What do you mean right now? What are nits? Ticks? Lice? I haven't had nits in a long time, but... I've why do we got our head over, over the tub? Why are we leaned over on a tub like that? And why do we contest, why do we always have the English flag as like a representation of you? Why are we doing this, huh? Gigi, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead, you got it. I've got something to tell you to save you lots of money, okay? So if you have got this, Get some water. What, what's wrong with the shower, though? Like, what, what's wrong with that nozzle right there at the top? Like, why are we dunking our head in the... Like, I, I just don't seem to... I don't get it. Like, why are we getting the water already in the tub when we could get the water from the... <laughs> I heard that you guys have good water over there in the UK. Better than here in America. All right, bling. Okay. Yeah, you get some water. Oh, oh, just right in there. Just right in that shit. You get some vinegar. Some vinegar, huh? What are we doing with the vinegar? You we season in our head now? We season in the head? You know, a lot of people give a lot of, they go, you know, I hear this a lot. White people can't season their food. White people don't know what seasoning is. Oh, what do you guys think seasoning is, right? Pepper, salt, come on, guys. You guys are white. White people don't know what seasoning is. What's this? Hmm? What's this right here? Right here. What's this? Look at this. Right there. What's that, dude? Guess what? Season in our heads. That's what we're doing nowadays, dude. And you over here talking about some white people don't know how to season? What are we doing right here? Vinegar in the head. What's up? That's what I'm talking about right here. Representation where it matters. Your scalp. Damn, she really rubbing that shit in? That's kind of crazy as fuck, dude. Vinegar? Kills off all the nits. All you gotta do, right? I just love the way she talks. All you gotta do, hear me out on this one. So here we are in my tub. We're gonna do it today. It's gonna be amazing. Trust me on that. So we got the vinegar. Okay, and we're in our tub. We're gonna get rid of the nits. It's gonna be amazing. Trust me. Is that a little bit of salt on it as well? And salt. Salt on the hair. Right on the head, dude. That's what. That's how you do it. Seasoning more than just our food. And it will kill those nits, I believe, okay? And also, guys, like I said, do not buy this from the pound shop because it stings your minge, alright? Stings your minge? Okay, Candy. Okay. So don't be doing that. But honestly, use that on your head. I just love that that the, the 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 vinegar was just chilling in the water. I just love that. Like the aesthetic of this whole video is just awesome. It's so amazing. I just I I honestly can't believe this is like a. You ever you you know when I had COVID right, and it was bad, because I would just sleep right. I would go to bed and I would wake up like an hour later and I'd be sweating like crazy, because I was just so hot. And my brain was cooking itself because I'd wake up from these fever dreams, right? And I would have the weirdest dreams ever. Like I was dreaming about like polygons and shit. I feel like I'm getting a lot. I'm remembering a lot of this. Like what I'm watching right now, I feel like I'm watching a lot of that when I had that brain, when my brain was literally frying itself. That's without, this is, this is basically what I was watching in my brain when I was going through those times. Yeah, it would save you spare money. And all that. This is good. This is good. And yeah, it may stink a little bit, but you're gonna save a fortune. True. Thank me later, okay? But, uh... True. Thank me later. Trust me on that. Yeah, it's amazing. Make sure you don't sting your ninja. Um. Yeah. Appreciate it. Money on stuff. It's amazing. Oh, so diverse. So diverse in your language over there in the UK. You know, Corey's world is more like. Oh my god, guys, trust me, I've just got a bow -oh. it's really amazing. Oh my god, look how beautiful Leah is. And then she's like, yeah, trust me, it's gonna be amazing. You know you gotta love it. 
Hello guys, today I'm just making a casual sandwich. So aggressive. Uh, why is that shit green? Got a little bit of green on that one. Got it's a little bit green right there. What you want? What you saying about that? Why is it so blue and green on the bread? Is that mold? You got a little bit of mold on the side right there? Just a little bit of mold, huh? Just a little bit of people growing on the bread. How long you had this bread for, Candy? Butter straight on that shit. Damn, that butter is aggressively spread. I'm surprised that bread has still maintained its shape. Yeah. Well, then again, it's probably like five years old. What do you mean jam sandwich? Where's the jam at? Butter and jam? What the fuck you doing? Butter and jam? What sandwich have you got today, guys? Cheese? Cheese? Why the cheese? Damn! Damn! Why you cut it like that? It's moldy, Candy! Candy, it's moldy! It's moldy! There's mold on that shit! Why you pick the side with the mold? <gasps> oh, I just, I just I, when she inhales like that, as if it's so satisfying to eat, even though that shit is literally covered in mold, it just, oh, something about it just make me feel uncomfortable. Like it just, it, it just kind of irks me in some type of way. I have a shot outside. I was in um, all over the world. Oh, this is a fruity black currant jam. If you want a chance to win a free sandwich, f you couldn't wipe your mouth real quick. Just you couldn't wipe your mouth real quick. Oh, this is a fruity black currant jam. If you want a chance to win a free sandwich, follow my Instagram at Candy's Cooking Official. Win a free sandwich. You know you can go ahead and get a free sandwich from Candy's Cooking. What's up, Candy? Making all these delicacies. She ain't gonna leave it up just to herself. She gonna spread out the wealth. She gonna make sure everybody eating. Now, granted. Uh, you know, you might get a little something extra on the side of that, you know, maybe a little bit of mold, maybe a little bit of extra oil, uh, but guess what? So the fuck what, dude? So what if the utensils are literally being seasoned up in brown water and, you know, like her, her dietary etiquette is a little bit, you know, far-fetched, but this is, how, this is what it's like in the UK. Did you guys not know? This is how it is in the UK. I wasn't aware for a long time. But apparently, in the UK, this is how they do stuff. So I'm happy to know. I'm happy to get the UK in culture in me a little bit more and more and more. I just love it. I personally love it. Everybody in the UK, you guys are all amazing. I'm so happy that you chose this personal person, this amazing individual, as your, you know, the, the individual that we look upon, you know? Uh, over here, we got Dennis Rodman. And over there, you got Candy's Cooking. I love it. It's amazing. You guys are honestly... I mean, personally, I don't like any of this food, but I'm glad that you guys do. I mean, I would kind of thought you guys ate slop in general, but this is a different level of slop. I almost can't even believe this stuff is edible. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you um, enjoyed today's video, I appreciate everybody can leave a like, comment, uh, like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in oil. Oil! The entire video could be summed up with oil. The entire video. All of it. It's just oil. Uh, but you know, maybe a little bit of seasoning too, a lot of seasoning actually, but leave it down below oil. By the way, um, make sure you don't buy that, whatever that dollar store stingy ninja stuff was because it was a little, apparently it was, you know, actually pretty bad, but you're beautiful. You're amazing. You're spectacular. I think that you're doing great things in your life. I'm happy that you could watch this video today and, and take some time to watch it. I hope it wasn't that disgusting. Um, and watching a grown woman with a lazy eye eating moldy bread and gel off or whatever that was. I don't know, man. Whatever. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, if you want to check out my social medias, uh, you can check them out down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.